everybody so welcome to another one of my movie poster collection series now we move on to the letter f definitely some of my favorites are in this one so let's get started first up is the john woo film face off but i'm a huge john woo fan so i was actually kind of happy to uh, actually get one next up i have two posters for uh fade to black and here is uh one version with all the faces and everything that uh he sort of dresses up as in the movie. And then probably the more famous image from the movie in this one. Speaking of which, this is also a movie that really needs a Blu-ray release. Here is Fast Times at Ridgemont High, a movie I've watched so many times in my life and it still cracks me up every single time. Here's a film some of you may remember. I was very happy when it finally came out on uh, Blu-ray from Scream Factory and that is Fear No Evil. So this is the one sheet and I also actually have the half sheet. It's a poster for the final countdown, which I don't remember when I got this or anything, but I have it, so cool, I guess. I mean, I do like the movie, so. Here's one I actually got for free from a dealer because I was buying like a bunch of other stuff and that is for The Final Conflict. Here is for the Mark Lester film of Stephen King's Firestarter. And here is the Stallone classic First Blood and for Rambo First Blood Part Two. Decided to keep the two together because I don't like to split up any in the series. This is for David Cronenberg's The Fly. Uh, it looks a little wavy in the photograph. It's just, it's in plastic. Uh, but the poster itself is in great condition. And I also lucked out um, not too long ago on finding the press kit from The Fly. And here's the one for The Fly 2. And now we start some of my favorites. Here is for John Carpenter's The Fog. So here's the teaser poster. Uh, which I was happy to get. And then here's my one sheet for The Fog, which I, I think I mentioned in other videos. Uh, I have a couple signatures on it so far. I have a lot more I hope to get on it uh, eventually. This is the film that actually introduced me to John Carpenter, and it was actually a f horror film I saw very, very young that was really one of the films that started my love of horror. So The Fog has a lot of meaning for me. So I have it signed by John Carpenter himself, and I do have Tom Atkins and Adrian Barbeau, Charles Cyphers, Nancy Loomis, uh, Tommy Lee Wallace, and uh, Dean Cundy. So not too shabby, hoping uh, obviously to get some more at some point. And here is the half sheet for The Fog with the teaser poster image on it. This is one I was really happy to get uh, a couple of years ago. And this is the original lobby card set for The Fog. And this is uh, an original 8x10 from 1980. I, I think it came from the press kit for The Fog. It's a very common photo. Actually, if you do a search right now, I'm sure you'll find a very high quality one that you could easily print up yourself. I really wanted an original version of the still and found one two, three years ago, I think three years ago. And here's another one of those Japanese programs that I got from that one guy. Here's the original poster for the Food of the Gods. Here's one for a re-release of for a few dollars more. I think this is from 1980, I think it was, if I remember correctly. This is actually my favorite of the trilogy. And what was cool about this re-release that I decided to get, because getting originals a little on the pricey side, was that it does use the original artwork for it. Here's one of the Roger Corman classics for Bidden World with that amazing artwork. This is an alternate version of the Paul Morrissey film, uh, um, Andy Warhol's Frankenstein, or however you want to call it. Here's one for Fraternity Vacation, which I'm kind of wondering if I should have had Stephen Jeffries autograph it when I met him. Here's a really special one, and one I'm definitely okay, only having one signature on it, and that is for The French Connection. It is one of my all-time favorite films. I have it autographed uh, by William Friedkin when I met him um, seven years ago now. Jeez, has it been that long? God. Oh, time flies. Very, very special moment. And again, just absolutely love that I have this. And I was lucky enough to also find, uh, not the full set, so it only, I only have four of the original lobby card set. Here's one for French Connection 2. And now we get into my Friday the 13th poster collection. So at some point I got into my head that I wanna get at least one poster from every Friday the 13th. And so let's just get right into it. So first off, I have two uh, one sheets for the first Friday the 13th. I actually have one from the original release when the, first, when the film first came out. And I have one from when the film went wider. So the film came out and it became a hit and then they opened it even wider. So they had to print more posters. And in the second printing, which went wider, is usually where you can find more like rolled ones and stuff. So I have one from both, which is 
kind of cool. And I lucked out on this a long time ago, and that is a half sheet for Friday the 13th. I actually sometimes even forget I have this. Here's one for Friday the 13th part two. I really wish I could find one with the outline with the ax. Oh, I would love that one. Here is Friday the 13th part three and Friday the 13th part three lobby card set. Here's my Mondo poster for Friday the 13th part three, which I think is kind of cool. I like kind of the 3D theme to it. I think it's really cool. Here's my poster for the final chapter, which I do have some signatures on. Obviously, I want to get a lot more on there and I'm hoping maybe I can get some coming up possibly. Maybe. And this was an interesting one I got a while ago. And this is the uh, press kit for the final chapter. Here is my poster for A New Beginning. And I have three signatures on it so far. And luckily, fingers crossed, I should get a lot more on it uh, this summer, which I'm very excited about. Here is my Friday 13th Part 6 poster, which I, again, I got a couple signatures on. Hoping to get a lot more on it eventually. Here's my Friday 13th Part 7 poster, which I do have autographed by Kane Hodder. I was really hoping I could have met John Carl Beekler at some point. Uh, really sad when he passed. Here's the teaser poster, uh, the infamous recalled poster for Jason Takes Manhattan. Now, even though this was technically recalled, they're not hard to find because the posters, even though stop using them they weren't really destroyed so you can actually usually find them pretty easily and then here's the one sheet for Jason Takes Manhattan and the press kit for Jason Takes Manhattan here is my Jason Goes to Hell uh, poster I think this is a teaser poster for it my Jason X poster my Friday 13th remake slash reboot poster and then I decided to just put this in with the Friday 13th here's my Freddy vs. Jason teaser poster and my Freddy vs. Jason one sheet that I do have a lot of signatures on it including Robert Englund and Ken Kurtzinger. I'm sure most of you know my love of Fright Night, so here is my Fright Night one sheet that I was so happy well, a year and a half ago when I met the cast and writer-director Tom Holland, got them all on it. Really, the main person I'm missing right now is actually, ironically, Chris Sarandon, so I hope to get him on this uh, soon. And here is my lobby card set for Fright Night, which I'm so happy to have. And here's one I lucked out just at this past flashback uh, last year, and this is my Fright Night Part 2 poster. Been wanting one of these for the longest time. Here's something a little different. This is the comedy, The Frisco Kid, which I think is absolutely hilarious, and one I'm really surprised is not on Blu-ray. I mean, especially considering it's Harrison Ford and Gene Wilder. Here's my From Beyond poster, which I have a lot of signatures on. I think I'd like to get maybe one or two people on it, but basically I have all the main people. Here's the Larry Cohen film, Full Moon High. Here's the one for The Fun House, although I would love to get the one with the clown. That one's kind of hard to find. Here's one of my favorite comedies slash musicals ever. I love this film so much and that is a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. This is just one of those films that I grew up on. I think it's hilarious. I could pretty much quote it verbatim. So I have the teaser poster and I like that and I do have the original one sheet which I love with that insane artwork and this was a score when I actually got the original lobby card set. And then finally here is Brian De Palma's The Fury. So that wraps up the F's so obviously keep an eye out for the next one which will obviously be the G's. Have some pretty cool ones in that one as well. So definitely let me know your thoughts and which ones you think I should keep. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.